time to resonate. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? This is Joe Alexander from ResonateProductions.com. Thank you for joining in. Welcome to our world. Everyone's heard a picture is worth a thousand words. Today, most of the socializing, networking happens online, on Facebook, Instagram, and all the other online resources. The first thing anyone sees is your picture. It's essential for anyone who's trying to get a new job, make new friends, or even try and get a date to present themselves in a professional or at least a unique way. A good and modern portrait presents to everyone exactly who you are and what you're all about. It's one of the absolute best ways for you to find the success you're looking for. I have to admit that portrait photography is my passion. There's nothing that excites me more than shooting somebody's face or getting a headshot and making sure that, that they get the results that they want. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to become better portrait photographers. So here we go guys. Tip number one. Make sure your subject is the main point of focus in your picture. Because you're shooting a portrait picture, remember the client is paying you or at least expecting that you take a very very good picture of them. So if your subject is not the main point of focus, you have just wasted one shot. Tip number two. Think about your foreground and background. Most of the times, you would think about just the subject and not even look what's in front of you or what's behind you, if the background is messy, if the foreground is uh, cluttered. Think about that. These kind of things will definitely set your pictures apart, will definitely make your pictures even look better. Sometimes having an out of focus background can always look good. Tip number three, lighting very very important when you are lighting your subject up think about the amount of light that's coming right now if you see this particular picture you will see that there's more light coming from, my, from this side which is my left side and there's a little bit of shadow on this side so how are you lighting your subject these three elements will definitely help you get a better portrait picture number four be creative you have to decide what are the choices, what are the creative choices you're going to do to make sure that your picture stands out. Now when I say be creative, what you can do is you can play with your shutter speed, you can play with your lighting, you can play with your aperture. Everyone knows at 1.8 you get a blurry kind of focus around your subject. So think about that. Would you want your picture to be out of focus with a blurry background, with bokeh, with this light shimmering in the background? Or would you want it to be crisp? Would you want it to be sharp? Would you want your foreground and your background to be sharper? You should have F8. So it's a creative choice what aperture you'll be shooting at. 1.8 or F8. I prefer to shoot at F8. That's just me. And my recommended settings for shooting a portrait is F8. I serve about 100 to 200, max I would go about is to about 400. Uh, I prefer shooting crispy, clear portraits. I hope you guys like this video and uh, are inspired from it. Go out, take better pictures, take better portraits. Share your pictures with me. I would love to see them. I would love to see them and give my thoughts on it. I'll be posting more videos up in later on, so let me know what you guys want to know more about, tips, tricks, uh, just 